In a quaint and picturesque town known as Curiosityville, there dwelled a remarkable educator named Professor Wise. He was a man of immense knowledge and an insatiable curiosity that knew no bounds. Professor Wise was not your ordinary teacher, he was renowned throughout the land for his uncanny ability to make learning an exciting and adventurous endeavor. What set Professor Wise apart from the rest of the townsfolk was a wondrous artifact he possessed, a magical book, bound in aged leather and filled with pages that shimmered with an otherworldly glow. This extraordinary book possessed an enchanting power, one that allowed its possessor to travel through time and space to any place in history. Every morning, as the first rays of sunlight kissed the town of Curiosityville awake, Professor Wise would sit in his cozy study, the magical book resting on a polished oak desk before him. With a gleam in his eye and a heart full of anticipation, he would open the book, revealing its mysterious contents. On its pages were inscriptions of countless destinations and eras, each written in ornate calligraphy. With a deep breath, Professor Wise would close his eyes and run his fingers across the pages, stopping at a random place in time. Then, with a touch as gentle as a whisper, he would open the book to that chosen page. In an instant, he would be transported to the very place and time he had selected, embarking on a grand adventure to learn something new and extraordinary. And so, dear reader, our tale begins with Professor Wise's daily ritual of discovery, where the turn of a page would take him on a journey of enlightenment. Little did he know that today's adventure would be unlike any he had ever experienced before, for destiny had a remarkable surprise in store for the good professor in the pages of that magical book. As the sun cast its golden rays upon the town of Curiosityville one fine morning, Professor Wise, with his heart full of anticipation, embarked on another journey of discovery with his magical book. Today's destination was one of the most intriguing in the book's pages, Ancient Egypt. With a flourish, Professor Wise opened the book, and as he touched its pages, a shimmering portal enveloped him. In the blink of an eye, he found himself standing in the midst of a vast, golden desert, the scorching sun beating down upon him. Before him, towering into the heavens, were the magnificent pyramids of Giza. Professor Wise marveled at the colossal structures, their massive stones intricately stacked to form a symphony of geometric perfection. He ran his fingers over the ancient hieroglyphics that adorned the pyramids, their meanings hidden to most, but not to him, thanks to his insatiable hunger for knowledge. As he explored further, he encountered the ancient builders of the pyramids, skilled craftsmen and laborers who toiled day and night under the sweltering sun. Professor Wise struck up conversations with them, learning about the ingenious architectural techniques and engineering marvels that had allowed the Egyptians to construct these awe-inspiring monuments. He discovered how they used simple tools, such as levers and ramps, to move the massive stone blocks into place. With each passing moment, Professor Wise's understanding of the pyramids deepened. He marveled at the precision with which they were aligned with the stars, a testament to the Egyptians' astronomical knowledge. He learned about the spiritual significance of these monuments, serving as tombs for the pharaohs and their journey to the afterlife. As the day drew to a close and the desert sky turned to shades of fiery orange and crimson, Professor Wise felt a deep sense of appreciation for the ancient Egyptians and their remarkable achievements. With his newfound knowledge, he closed his magical book, and in a flash, he was back in his cozy study in Curiosityville. With the lessons of Egypt fresh in his mind, Professor Wise couldn't wait to share his newfound wisdom with the children of Curiosityville. 
Little did he know that his adventures were just beginning, and many more pages of his magical book held mysteries and discoveries that would captivate the hearts and minds of all who sought knowledge. On a crisp morning in Curiosityville, Professor Wise, fueled by his insatiable curiosity, opened his magical book once more. Today's destination was a pivotal moment in the history of science, and he could hardly contain his excitement. In an instant, he was transported to a serene English garden. As he looked around, he spotted a tree under which a figure sat, engrossed in deep contemplation. It was none other than Sir Isaac Newton, the great physicist and mathematician of yore. Professor Wise couldn't believe his luck, for he had arrived at the very moment when history was about to change. Just as Professor Wise approached the tree, he witnessed an apple falling from its branches, landing with a gentle thud on Newton's head. This seemingly ordinary event marked the birth of a revolutionary idea, the discovery of gravity. Newton, with his disheveled hair and furrowed brows, had an epiphany that would shape the course of science for centuries to come. Unable to contain his curiosity, Professor Wise struck up a conversation with Newton. The great scientist explained how the falling apple had led him to ponder the forces of nature. With enthusiasm, he shared his insights into the laws of motion and universal gravitation. Professor Wise was enraptured as Newton spoke about his meticulous method of inquiry, known as the scientific method. Newton emphasized the importance of observation, experimentation, and rigorous documentation in understanding the world. He showed Professor Wise his notebooks filled with meticulous records of his experiments and calculations. As they sat under the tree, Professor Wise marveled at the profound impact that this one apple had on our understanding of the universe. He realized that through the scientific method, humans could unlock the hidden secrets of nature, unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, and advancing technology and innovation. Before departing, Professor Wise thanked Sir Isaac Newton for the enlightening conversation and the invaluable lesson in scientific exploration. He returned to Curiosityville with a newfound appreciation for the power of curiosity, observation, and the scientific method in unraveling the mysteries of the world. With this revelation, Professor Wise knew that his mission to inspire and educate the children of Curiosityville had gained a new dimension. Armed with the wisdom of Sir Isaac Newton, he was ready to nurture the budding scientists and thinkers in his town, encouraging them to question, explore, and discover the wonders of the universe. In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where the lush green canopy stretched as far as the eye could see, Professor Wise found himself on his next extraordinary adventure. As he stepped through the portal conjured by his magical book, he was engulfed in the sights and sounds of the vibrant rainforest. Amidst the emerald foliage and the symphony of chirping birds and rustling leaves, Professor Wise stumbled upon a tribe unlike any he had ever encountered before. The members of this tribe communicated not through words or gestures, but through the harmonious sounds of nature itself. It was a language that transcended spoken words, a language of the rainforest. Intrigued and captivated by this unique form of communication, Professor Wise spent days with the tribe, learning the intricacies of their language. He discovered that they could mimic the calls of birds, the croaking of frogs, and even the swaying of leaves in the wind. Every sound conveyed a message, from warnings of approaching predators to directions to hidden water sources. Through his interactions with the tribe, Professor Wise gained a profound appreciation for the delicate balance of life in the rainforest. He learned about the rich biodiversity of the Amazon, 
or countless species of plants and animals coexisted in harmony. The tribe's deep connection to the environment and their role as stewards of the rainforest left an indelible mark on Professor Wise's heart. As the days turned into nights beneath the star-studded rainforest sky, Professor Wise realized the immense importance of preserving this unique ecosystem. He understood that the rainforest was not only a treasure trove of biological diversity but also a critical component of Earth's climate regulation and the source of countless medicines and resources. With a heavy heart, Professor Wise bid farewell to the tribe and returned to Curiosityville, determined to share his newfound knowledge and passion for preserving the environment with the townsfolk. He knew that protecting the rainforest and other precious ecosystems was a responsibility that extended far beyond the Amazon, it was a duty shared by all to ensure a sustainable and harmonious world. And so, with the lessons of the rainforest imprinted on his soul, Professor Wise continued his mission to inspire the children of Curiosityville to become guardians of the environment teaching them that the language of nature was a call to action, a call to protect and preserve the world's most precious natural wonders. As the days turned into weeks, Professor Wise's insatiable thirst for knowledge continued to lead him on exciting journeys through time and space. His next adventure would be the most exhilarating of all, for his magical book transported him to the very edge of the universe itself. With the book's pages fluttering like celestial wings, Professor Wise found himself adrift in the vast expanse of outer space. Stars twinkled like diamonds in the inky blackness, and distant galaxies painted the cosmic canvas with splashes of color. Eagerly, Professor Wise embarked on a cosmic voyage, visiting stars and galaxies that had only been distant points of light in the night sky from his home in Curiosityville. He marveled at the sheer enormity of the universe, a tapestry of countless stars, planets, and celestial wonders. During his travels, Professor Wise encountered beings from distant civilizations, each with their own unique understanding of the cosmos. They shared their knowledge of astronomy and astrophysics, deepening Professor Wise's understanding of the mysteries of the universe. One particularly awe-inspiring moment occurred when Professor Wise witnessed the birth and death of stars. He saw massive clouds of gas and dust collapse under the force of gravity to form new stars, their brilliance illuminating the cosmos. He also witnessed the spectacular explosions of dying stars, supernovae, which scattered heavy elements into space, eventually forming the building blocks of new solar systems. Throughout his cosmic odyssey, Professor Wise marveled at the beauty and complexity of the galaxies. He learned about the different types of galaxies, from spirals like the Milky Way to ellipticals and irregulars. Each galaxy was a testament to the vastness and diversity of the universe. As his journey through the cosmos drew to a close, Professor Wise returned to Curiosityville with a newfound appreciation for the wonders of astronomy. He knew that the universe held endless secrets waiting to be discovered, and the children of Curiosityville were eager to join him on this cosmic quest for knowledge. With stars in their eyes and the universe as their guide, Professor Wise and the children of Curiosityville embarked on a journey of exploration and wonder, seeking to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos and understand their place in the vast tapestry of the universe. Back in the familiar streets of Curiosityville, Professor Wise felt a deep sense of purpose. He had traversed time, explored nature's hidden secrets, and ventured into the depths of the cosmos, all in the pursuit of knowledge. Now, he was determined to inspire the young minds of his town, for he knew that the future lay in their hands.
In a gathering beneath the ancient oak tree at the heart of Curiosityville, Professor Wise shared his adventures with the children. He spoke of the wonders he had witnessed, the people he had met, and the boundless power of curiosity and creativity. Each one of you, he said, possesses a spark of curiosity that, when nurtured, can illuminate the darkest corners of ignorance. Together, we can accomplish great things. With that declaration, Professor Wise set the children on a path of discovery. He encouraged them to observe the world around them, to question the status quo, and to imagine solutions to the challenges they faced. Curiosityville had a common problem, a river that often flooded, disrupting the lives of its residents. Professor Wise challenged the children to invent a machine that could help prevent these floods or minimize their impact. The children embraced the challenge with enthusiasm. They spent days brainstorming ideas, sketching designs, and experimenting with various concepts. Some dreamed of levees and dams, while others pondered ways to divert the river's course safely. With each attempt, they learned valuable lessons about engineering, teamwork, and the power of persistence. As weeks turned into months, the children's invention began to take shape. They created a flood warning system that utilized sensors placed along the riverbanks. These sensors would monitor water levels and send alerts to the townsfolk when a flood was imminent. Additionally, they designed a portable flood barrier that could be quickly deployed to protect homes and businesses. The day of testing arrived, and the entire town of Curiosityville gathered by the riverbanks. Professor Wise, with a glint of pride in his eyes, watched as the children implemented their invention. It worked flawlessly, alerting the town to an approaching flood and deploying the flood barriers in time to prevent extensive damage. The success of their invention filled the hearts of the children with a sense of accomplishment and the knowledge that their curiosity and creativity had made a tangible difference in their community. Professor Wise knew that this was just the beginning of their journey of discovery and invention. With the power of curiosity and the spirit of innovation, there were no limits to what they could achieve. The town of Curiosityville had become a hub of learning and progress, thanks to the leadership and inspiration of Professor Wise and the boundless potential of its children. As the seasons changed in Curiosityville, and the days grew longer, the children continued to gather under the wise oak tree. Their project to prevent floods had not only brought them closer together as a community but had also ignited a deep passion for learning within each of them. The success of their invention had instilled a newfound understanding the true essence of education lay not solely within the confines of textbooks and classrooms, but also in the boundless wonders of the world around them. Professor Wise had taught them that every moment was an opportunity to learn, and the children had taken this lesson to heart. One sunny afternoon, Sarah, a curious and bright young girl, noticed a colorful butterfly fluttering by. She couldn't help but wonder about the intricate patterns on its wings and the fascinating process of metamorphosis. Inspired, she decided to embark on a journey of discovery. Sarah's enthusiasm was infectious, and soon, other children joined her in her quest to learn more about butterflies. They researched their life cycle, studied their behavior, and even built a butterfly garden filled with the flowers that attracted these delicate creatures. In the process, they honed their observation skills and became amateur entomologists. Meanwhile, Tom, a budding astronomer, spent his nights gazing at the stars through his telescope. He marveled at the constellations, tracked the movements of planets, and even discovered a passion for astrophotography. 
The night sky had become his classroom, and the universe, his teacher. The children's insatiable curiosity led them to explore art, music, history, and countless other subjects. They discovered that learning was not a chore, but a joyful and lifelong journey. They reveled in the excitement of asking questions and seeking answers, realizing that the world was their classroom and knowledge was their treasure. Professor Wise, watching the children's growth and transformation, couldn't have been prouder. He knew that he had not only imparted knowledge, but also instilled in them the spirit of lifelong learning, a gift that would serve them well throughout their lives. As the years passed, the children of Curiosityville continued to explore, discover, and innovate. They became scientists, artists, historians, and explorers in their own right. Their town thrived, not only as a place of knowledge, but as a community bound together by a shared love for learning and a deep appreciation for the world's wonders. The story of Curiosityville serves as a reminder that education is not confined to the walls of a classroom, but is a lifelong adventure filled with excitement, wonder, and the joy of discovery. It is a journey that begins with curiosity and never truly ends, for there is always something new to learn and explore in the vast world that surrounds us. With the flood prevention system successfully in place, Curiosityville prospered like never before. The town's residents lived without the constant fear of flooding, allowing them to focus on their pursuits and passions. The invention had not only safeguarded their homes, but also transformed Curiosityville into a hub of innovation and progress. Professor Wise continued his adventures, traveling through time and space, always returning to share the wonders and knowledge he had gathered with the children. They hung on to his every word, absorbing the wisdom he brought from his travels and eager to embark on their own journeys of exploration. The children of Curiosityville had grown into remarkable individuals, each with their own unique interests and talents. Sarah, who had started her journey with butterflies, had become a respected biologist, dedicated to preserving the fragile ecosystems of the rainforest. Tom, the young astronomer, had earned recognition for his discoveries in the field of astrophysics, inspiring others to gaze at the stars with wonder. The town had transformed into a vibrant center of learning and creativity, with schools, libraries, and laboratories bustling with activity. The oak tree that had been the backdrop of their early gatherings now stood as a symbol of their collective thirst for knowledge and the spirit of curiosity that defined Curiosityville. But it wasn't just the children who had changed, the entire community had embraced the ethos of lifelong learning. Adults pursued new careers, honed their skills, and found joy in the pursuit of knowledge. It was a town where curiosity was celebrated, questions were encouraged, and solutions were discovered through collaboration. The success of Curiosityville rippled beyond its borders, inspiring neighboring towns to embrace education and innovation. The spirit of learning spread like wildfire, and communities far and wide began to see the transformative power of curiosity and creativity. In the twilight of his life, Professor Wise looked upon the town he loved, the children he had nurtured, and the community that had blossomed under his guidance. His heart swelled with pride, for he knew that the future was in good hands. Curiosityville had become a beacon of hope, a place where knowledge, curiosity, and a love for learning illuminated the path to a brighter future. And so, the story of Curiosityville serves as a testament to the enduring power of education and exploration. It reminds us that with curiosity as our guide and a passion for learning as our fuel, we can shape a world filled with endless possibilities and a future that knows no bounds.